Hi everyone. I know I haven't gotten any better at coming back here more often uh, to do these video clips like I said I was going to, but um, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm making a diligent effort. Um, but I felt it was important to come back here uh, at this point because I had this, this question that's just been burning at me for uh, years, actually. And it's this whole question, and I know some of you are going to just rile when you hear this, but um, you know, because we've been wrapped up in definitions of certain things, of CRM, social CRM, whatever. But this whole notion of customer service and the definition of customer service, and, and the reason I think it's important is because the way companies define customer service and the way we professionals in the, in the space define customer service really has a profound and material impact on how companies structure their engagement with customers. And the, the, the distinction I think that's important is we tend to, in large part, talk about customer service um, on Twitter chats and, and blogs and forums and, and various different communities in the context of the function that is uh, this post-sales function which is more customer support than customer service. And I think it's important because if organizations don't start to look at customer service as a business strategy, they, um, as opposed to a function within the organization, then they're never going to achieve customer centricity and that level of intimacy and authenticity with, with customers and trust with customers that is critical in this customer-driven economy or customer-driven ecosystem. And, and so I, I just want to actually, so I went back and I tried to find some definitions, right? And I didn't do a heck of a lot of research on this, but just let me read to you the Wikipedia definition. It says the customer service is a provision of service to customers before, during, and after a purchase. And as according to um, uh, some research back in 2002, customer service is a series of activities designed to enhance the level of customer satisfaction. That is the feeling that a product or service has met customer expectations. And I think it's important to, to distinguish that before, during, and after because when we typically talk about customer service, it's uh, in the contact center. We talk about customer service agents and who is a customer service agent? You look at companies in the hospitality uh, industry, you know, the, the Ritz Carlton's of the world and everyone. Everyone in the organization is a customer service agent. Uh, you look at Zappos, right, the usual cast of characters. Tony Shea, the CEO and founder of the company, is a customer service agent. So customer service agents, an agent is somebody that um, is a conduit for something, right? And uh, if everyone in the organization doesn't consider themselves an agent of customer service, that then the, by default, our mental models suggest that, well, that's, that's for those folks in the contact center who have the headsets on. That's their responsibility. But unless everyone in the organization is an agent of service, then companies can't achieve the, the cultural shift and the business and operating model shifts that's required to become customer centric. And just as a, as a side note here, or, or support, let me take a look at that same Wikipedia entry around customer support. And the definition of customer support is customer support is a range of customer services to assist customers in making cost effective and correct uses of a product. So that more implies the, this post-sale support, hey, how do I do X, or I've got a problem with a billing, or the product is damaged, broken, whatever, right? All those sort of customer support issues. So, you know, it's an important distinction. We really need to start to talk about customer service, not in terms of CSRs, customer service agents, those people in the contact center who are measured by AHT and CSAT and first call resolution and all that kind of stuff. It's really a, a business strategy and those organizations that have adopted customer service as a business strategy, right? Zappos again, we're a customer service company that, oh, by the way, sells shoes and apparel and other stuff, right? Um, it's important distinction. And the definition here, I think, is, is a critical definition to agree on and to set the context for what eventually becomes the operating model about how a company uh, interacts with its customers. Tell me what you think. Thanks.